let's do something a little bit more artistic. And when I say artistic, that just means I'm using some paint and a brush. That's kind of what I consider artistic. And I pretty much figure that most of you have paint and a brush and maybe uh, some blank packages that you might need to make pretty like cardboard packages that you're recycling into your project such as this and you need an easy way that you have um to you know you need materials on hand to create something really modern and cute looking that's why let's see if i can find her let's see if i can find her i created this very cute and simple project it is what we will call polka dot mod polka dot um, box and it is so easy people we're also going to be recycling and upcycling and just doing some very simple techniques like this little bow that I'll show you how to do it's it's a very very easy project to do so let's rock on over to craft cam and I'll show you how it's done and maybe you can see it a little bit up close too so that's kind of the bad side, but this side here, and I didn't really adhere it all that well. So that is, put a kitty in it. It's very small, and of course you can do this in all different shapes and sizes. This project is so fun and modern and easy to do. Like I said, it's upcycling. If you're using a recycled box that somebody had sent to you, or even a bag, um, you can turn a grocery bag inside out, kind of reconstruct a little bit so that you have a blank side, and then... Um, and then what you can do is that you you just decorate the heck out of it. And well, what did I do? I took some bubble wrap, I painted it, and then I put my my uh, box on there. I do recommend actually having the box constructed, um, not with your present in it just yet, but constructed so that you actually have that like power to put your hand inside of the box and turn it over just like that. Otherwise, if your box is flat, you're, you're going to be having to wait each side for it to dry and then doing it. This is like a super quick and easy, craftastic way of doing it. I'm just going to construct my cute little boxy box here and push on in. So now I have this really cute little box and it's just going to, it's going to eventually go like so. Just like so. I love this little box. It's perfect for treats and it's perfect for all kinds of little gifts. And I mean, it just looks fabulous with this little polka dot pattern. I always find myself wanting to do just simple polka dot patterns and that's why we're doing it. We're doing it, people. Oh, and yet another upcycled thing that I like to use in my projects when I'm dealing with paint is just a lid that uh, is off of like one of my ice cream containers. Okay, I love this ice cream. It's called Taliente and I'm just gonna give them a little plug. Um, it's plastic and I use it as my palette just to give myself a little bit of paint. Tonight I'm using this super fun bright green folk art paint from Plaid. Oh, I love this color and of course you, you know me, I like kind of like the mod 60s sort of stuff. So this is, this is kind of going that direction. You can use whatever color you want or even like a combination of colors if you really want to use a combination of colors. So we're doing all kinds of... <laughs> It's all kinds of crazy upcycling in this one project alone. Always have, um, I always have this darn bubble tape on hand and what I'm looking for in the bubble tape right now is just a clear, you know, all, all full bubble. So I'm just kind of petting my bubble tape, making sure that I have clear bubbles. <laughs> They're all full. And then I'm just gonna start painting on my, my paint here. And it, I do need a good amount of paint. And two of, of course, the size, I can already see that I have one little bubble that's popped. So I'm just gonna sort of start moving my paint down a little bit lower here. And although it's gonna seem like you should paint on just like this, what you really should do to finish it up is kind of dab it. And it's gonna go down into the cracks a little bit. But once you dab it, it just means that you have all of the, the dots that you really need saturated with just the right amount of paint. I'm gonna try and put this in the middle a little bit here. And then that way, it'll give you just enough time to grab your box. And I like to start on the back side because I get a little bit nervous. Put your hand inside of it and then press down. You can't really see my hand inside of it, but I'm pressing down pretty firmly and then I just go up like that. And then I just go to the next side like so and I go oh, whammo. 
like that. And just be sure not to move your, your hands like I just did actually and smear it all over the place. But just don't move your hand once you get it in there. Just press it firmly down like you would with a stamp. And I'm just gonna show you. Okay, so my hand is in on the inside. I'm not moving it around. I did a big smear on the back, but that's okay. It makes it even more handmade. And I'm just kind of pressing around and then voila! I get a nice little polka dot pattern. And once it dries, all those kind of highlighted areas that look like they're they're um, sort of seeping into each other will actually look really cool. Okay, so let's do the rest of this. Oh, I need a little bit more paint here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do have ACD, <laughs> attention crafting disorder. I'm doing a bazillion things at once. All right, so. I mean, that's what creative people do, right? <laughs> right, right? Somebody validate me. <laughs> Somebody validate me, please. Okay, so we're just gonna put it on right. See, look at this big old smear I did. This is what not to do. Do as I say, not as I do. People, I'm just pressing down pretty firmly and then up. Oh, that, one's, that one turned out really nice. That one turned out very, very, very nice. Yes, it did. Okay. Now. Okay, 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 hold on. I'm just gonna go like that and then push on in, make sure all the sides go, and voila. Ooh, that side even turned out even better. Okay, well at least the back side was the one that got all messed up. Like I said, I get nervous on my first press down. And then I'm gonna do the top, and then we're gonna move on and how you do the cute little bow, which is really kind of a fun little bow to do and you can transition it into all kinds of different types of crafts. Okay, so I'm just pressing down like so and voila. Okay, so that's going to sit and wait to dry because it's a little wet right now. My green paint, oh, I used so much green paint. I'm going to have to sop that up. And now this little bow, this could be used all kinds of different types of papers and colors and sizes, but I'm just gonna make this cute little tiny one. I love this one. It's very easy to do. You just need a piece of paper. I'm using a piece of like printer weight type of paper. I just fold it up into eighths, and then I just fold it one more time. So I'm just going to fold it up and fold it up. And you'll see when I unfold that, that is, it's gonna be eight, like so. And then like that, and then one more time. So, just one more time, one more time. And now, what I'm gonna do is cut my preferred shape out, which is kind of like a teardrop. Kind of, but it's not as pointy at the bottom and it doesn't go in as much at the bottom. It's almost like a teardrop that's missing the like the lower quarter part of the teardrop, just like that. Kind of like a petal. We'll call it a petal, huh? Um, okay, so then what happens is you kind of get this nice little butterfly effect here. Then you're going to fold those over and this is just going to help you sort of doing the fluffing part of it. And if you have a stapler, then you should use that little stapler. And I don't know where my little princess stapler went, but <laughs> my little prince, where's my pretty, pretty princess stapler? I don't know. I'm, I'm completely at a loss for words tonight with all of my, my uh, mishaps. So we're just gonna use a little bit of my glue runner. You can see all these different pieces here. And I'm just gonna glue runner each piece in so that they, will stick together when I start fluffing. Fluffy, fluffy, fluff. And I, they are kind of pretty, just sort of flat like that. And you can actually, um, you can layer them just flat and make a nice little flower, couldn't you? But we're gonna do a fun little, just quick fluffing and folding technique that is going to create that three-dimensional kind of look. Very easy to do. And then we're gonna move on to a winner of Alicia's giveaway. Hopefully she'll show it again and then I can show it on the screen. Okay, so this is a craft bow, we'll call it a craft bow. Now what you need to do 
is get it folded on the inside, meet two the two peaks in the middle. So these are gonna be folded like a sew. I'm just gonna give them a little fold. Just pinch them, pinch them in. And then it's gonna wanna come up a little bit like a sew. And then as you start going, you're just gonna meet up each little taco the opposite direction. So this direction like that, and then it's gonna look just like that. And then this is gonna peak up a little bit here, just like so. And I'll move it on over to this smaller one that I had, and you can see the finished project is just kind of this really nice little petal. In fact, if you did a whole one, like all the way around, uh, you could have a really fun, fun little bow for your project. Then you just plop it right on with some double-sided tape and then you have just a very simple project to go with your mod, uh, sorry, all the sides of this aren't that great, with uh, your little mod project. And it's with materials that you have on hand, just a little ingenuity, very easy wrapping solutions. Let's rock on over to HeadCam and check it out. I'll show you my, uh, my other one that I just did now so you can see the difference. You don't have to do a lot of work with wrapping. That's the thing. It, wrapping does not have to take a lot of time. Um, and it also, you know, doesn't have to take a lot of time for it to be fun, engaging, pretty, simple. Uh, I, I like to make sure that people aren't stressing out when they're wrapping because then it just takes all of the fun and creativity out of it.